Hi. People have asked me what my process is for making these molds, and I felt it was a good time I can share out what I'm working on right now. Creating the interior components, I do have the seat uh, plug back there ready to start process to make that mold, and I'm working on designing the bridge for the interior. Uh, I did find that I had to install one of the wheels, or I wanted to install one of the wheels to ensure I got the right measurements and everything else. Let me show you what I'm working on. I purchased the steering system and suspension units from Katanga. This is what they put into the WOWs. Got it laid out next to the Zephyr in approximately the location it would sit inside the machine. And the seat is approximately here. Please understand this is the plug, not the finished seat. The finished seat will be much lower to the floor. I have to consider openings for different control rods and anchoring points, but the most critical feature is this dimension here has to be between 40 and 47 millimeters distance to hold the steering linkage. Let me show you in the body. I have to think about where the steering components are, where the control linkage connects, as well as where the boom lays in the machine. Doing all those, I came up with a basic design layout for the bridge in approximately this shape. Once I had a paper template made up, I brought it over my steering layout to make sure I was covering all the things I needed. I need an entry area for these control linkage from the steering system. Steering linkage mounting here. This is the rear end of the boom, the, the, the rear foot of the boom. Idler wheel over in here, that's gonna be covered with a shroud. These will be access panels so you can set the toe in, toe out of the machine. These are going out the side walls. This one has to be a drop down so this control arm here has a point to attach on the inside this. Satisfied with the shape of the bridge, I cut a piece out of two inch thick foam. Went and did a lot of sanding. I also did some hot melt glue to glue an additional one inch thick piece here on the top where I needed some. Two other important factors I have to keep in mind while creating and designing the bridge. These steering cams mount with a through bolt and it has to be a distance of between 40 and 47 millimeters from the top of the finished surface of the bridge and the bottom finished underside of the velomobile so that those bolts will fit correctly. The other thing that I have to keep in mind is the thickness of the materials. I'm going to be building my bridge mold inside the main body molds, but if I did that, laid it out that way, it would be too large to fit in the machine. So I have to account for the thickness of the Velmobile body wall as well as the thickness of the finished bridge. To do that, I found a thing called thickness wax. I buy this from Composite Envisions. I got them in, they're in sheets, one foot by two foot. Uh, they're not cheap. This is probably about $50, I think, when I got it. Uh, shortages, it was kind of, I took what I could get. This is where I am at this point with my bridge creation. Put the boom in place. I still need to finalize what I'm doing up in this area. I need to open this up, make sure it's the correct distance for those control linkage arms. I also have to make a shroud to go over this area back in here where the either wheel is. I'm going to go ahead and start putting body filler on and fine-tuning the process. Thanks for watching.